finish out 7.4, we need to talk about membrane potential. And membrane potential is now this voltage difference on either side of a membrane as a result of an unequal distribution of positive and negative ions, uh, or an unequal distribution of the same charge of ions, like in the sodium potassium pump. If you remember, for every three sodium pluses, that were ions that were put outside. Only two um, positive potassium ions were brought inside. Is there an unequal distribution, if that happens billions of times, of charged uh, ions? And the answer would be yes. And so the, an the idea is that there's a difference in charge. Now, even though they're both positive, there's more positive on the outside than the inside. This is called membrane potential. And in nature, this, this happens a lot in order to set up situations where um, then things could come rushing through the membrane down their concentration gradient. Um, uh, more and more and more of, of, say, a certain ion, in this case, a sodium ion, is just going to be pumped and pumped and pumped so that there's, say, millions of them on the surface of the, the cell and um, very few on the inside. Do they want to get away from each other? Do they all have an, the same charge and they're like, this stinks, I want to get away from these other guys. And so they're going to come rushing in when they can. And, and nature uses this all the time, this, these unequal kind of setups of of membrane potential. So keep an eye out for these. Um, as a result, uh, these two combined forces called the electrochemical gradient drive the, the diffusion back down the concentration gradient, say of these sodium ions. Uh, there's a chemical force, which is the ion's concentration gradient, uh, just going from, from high to low. And then there's also an electrical force because um, they all have charges. And it, this charge is electricity. It's due to uh, more electrons uh, being there or not being there in the case of sodium ions. So those are super important points when it comes to electrochemical gradients. Um, Additionally, uh, this can be called an electrogenic pump, um, this active transport mechanism by where uh, sodium is pumped out and potassium is pumped in. Uh, this is going to generate a voltage across the membrane. Remember, voltage, electricity, we're just talking about electrons either being there in excess or not being there um, in the case of positive ions. Uh, this, is a, this is a situation that occurs, and the sodium-potassium pump it says here is a major electrogenic pump in all animal cells. Here's another one. Uh, it's called a proton pump. And this happens a lot um, in plants, fungi, and bacteria. Uh, they're going to intentionally build up protons or hydrogen ions on one side of a membrane. And then eventually, uh, that's a lot of potential energy sitting there. These guys don't want to be near each other for a variety of reasons not only because there's a lot of them, but also because of the charge that they all share and like charges repel. They want to get away from each other. And when they do, some energy is going to be able to be captured as a result of that. However, don't lose sight of the fact that it takes energy to do this. But it, it then allows uh, nature to store energy, basically, on one side of a membrane. That's what's going on here. Additionally, it can be used to then be able to drive things maybe into a cell, such as sucrose. This is actually table sugar, white cane sugar. And the only way that it can get into uh, cells in order to be used for cellular respiration is in this co-transport situation where a bunch of protons have been built up on one side of the membrane and then they, they come shooting through. And as they do, they go through a co-transporter, which uh, you can see here has a space for sucrose and to bind to, and then that those will be transported into the cell. Additionally, plants use a gradient of hydrogen ions generated by uh, these proton pumps to, to enable them to get um, uh, ions and minerals from the soil in their roots. This is how they get, get uh, the minerals that they need in order to do all their functions within the body of the plant. So take a moment and uh, please try to answer this question. We will uh, talk about it tomorrow. Additionally, here's another one. And uh, try to answer these objectives, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Don't stay up too late.